Hello Internet, my name's Nahil. I make YouTube videos here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And last night, I got to participate in Critical Mass Buenos Aires edition, or Masa de Critica in Spanish. What is Critical Mass, you say? It's kind of this unofficial biking organization that does these crazy bike rides all over the world in which tons of bikers will all participate and biking through the streets, basically trying to like slow down traffic and stuff. So the first one, the first official ever Critical Mass event took place in September 25th, 1992 in San Francisco with a few dozen bikers. They basically wanted to do it in order to protest against traffic. Yeah, in San Francisco, they always do it like the last Friday of every month in San Francisco, basically. Here in Buenos Aires, they do it on the first Sunday of every month, starting around four at the Obelisco. Now, the reason I'm doing this video here, I wanted to actually film this part in front of the Obelisco, but when we went to this event, we kind of got there late, so I'm doing it now. But yeah, it was fun, it was a blast. So yeah, this event, they have it in hundreds of cities all over the world. In fact, the largest one took place in Budapest, Hungary. It had over 80,000 people. It took place on April 20th, 2008. Biggest one ever. That'd be ridiculous to be in one that big. I mean, ours had between about 500 and 1,000 people. There's so many people there, like basically, right along the streets. It's like you couldn't even get everyone through like one intersection, like during like a green light. They'd have like people like on the side, like blocking off traffic so everyone can get through without like the next set of cars coming through. It's crazy. I don't think that's exactly legal or anything. Yeah, I actually read online that they actually have like an anti critical mass organization called Critical Manners. They would actually do the same thing here, except all the bikers are actually like encouraged to actually follow all the traffic laws and actually stay like along the side of the road instead of like trying to like take up the whole road and impede traffic. Yeah, it was a fun time. Check out the footage now, baby. big intersections, they just have like people sitting there on their bikes blocking it off. You're doing that here. Oh, dude, great! This is awesome. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I got a couple questions for when this is over. When, when this is over, how far are we gonna be from our house? And are you allowed to take your bikes on the subway to go back to it? No. <laughs> no. You can't on the train, though, right? The train, yes. You might have to take the train back and then bike the last like ten blocks. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the critical mass. We had lots of fun. Uh. A lot of crazy things happen. Yeah, there was a lot of crazy people out there, right? All sorts of people doing this event. There was even this one guy on this really long bike that was at least 20 feet long. I think it was originally meant to be a tandem bike, but there's only actually like one seat on this. He even had, the guy had like a bunch of like horns and stuff like on the seat that he was honking. It was pretty cool. <laughs> It's not just bikers, they'll allow anyone that has a like non-motorized set of wheels. Like, you know, if you're on like a skateboard or rollerblades or whatever, there's several skateboarders there. They even had one person that had a skateboard and they had tied a rope to someone's bike so they could ride around the skateboard and just kind of like ride behind like a surfboard. Yeah, there was one kid, there was one little girl that was, I don't know, she must have been like, like six or eight or something that was riding along.
That was crazy. I don't know, like in the US, if someone that little, they'd probably like kick him out of an event like that because he'd be, I don't know. It seems like the kid would like get hurt doing that or something, but she, she seemed to be twin fine, I guess. But uh, at least she wore a helmet, unlike this uh, guy that had a kid like in a kid's seat with no helmet on. They do that in the USA, they're gonna call child protective services on you. But I don't know, I guess this is Argentina. So a lot of people were like, no pasa nada. Yeah, there were several people around. They're just like popping wheelies, but, like all, like the whole time. That was crazy. There's even a few guys that had like a big like radio set up like boombox like on their bike riding around play blasting like awesome music while we were doing this. Yeah, there was even one woman that had her dog in her basket. That's crazy, isn't it? So, Pets Critica is still going, but they're going in the opposite direction of our house and we've been riding with them for like three hours now. So we're heading back to our house. So yeah, as I said before, Critical Mass, or Mesa de Critica, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, it takes place on the first Sunday of every month, starting at 4 p.m. at the Obelisk, and they basically just ride all over the city, going like randomly, whatever. I think like as they go, they keep go. they basically, from what I understand, they just keep going until pretty much everyone just like leaves the group. So I think like a lot of people that are in there will probably like break off as they get towards like wherever they um, live, because by the time we left it, it was probably about half the size of when we started. I also heard uh, they have a second critical mass uh, organization here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And they do it like later at night after the sun goes down. They do it on every full moon. So I'll have to check that out sometimes. But anyways, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time.